In this video, traders, I want to talk a little bit about trading impulse reinforcement, which is not good, by the way. Stay tuned. Hey guys, well, welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so we all suffer from this to some extent, right? Imagine this scenario. You come in, you turn your screens on, you slide up to your desk, you go, oh, I need to see this chart. And your impulse is, to short that, too high. And what you then do is you spend the next few minutes reinforcing that narrative. Like, it's short. It's short because we've had multiple pullbacks. It's short because we're extended away from the moving average. It's short because we're at this time of day. You start to really develop a reason why it's a short. And in actual fact, what you've done is you've just reinforced the impulse that you saw. And then what ends up happening for most traders is they go, oh, I've just got to get short. And so they go short just there with no real structure to trade, no real thinking about the trade, just I thought it was a short. I've reinforced that by just adding all this really legitimate arguments behind it. But and I just have to take it. I have to take it right now because I don't want to miss out. And you convince yourself it's the best trade ever. You take it and then, of course, you get stopped out or maybe it works if you're lucky. But ultimately, that's not a sustainable uh, way to trade the markets right now. We all get this impulse when we come. We see something. You go, Oh, that could be this. But it's much better to be objective and step back and say, right, listen, forget about my impulses now. I'm coming in, I want to objectively assess this market. Is there opportunity, right? Why do I think it's a short? Why could it be a long? And you kind of assess both sides rather than allowing the impulse to be reinforced. You go, hey, listen, it's not a short because the trend's up. It's not a short because we've broken out clean on volume. It's not a short because a daily chart, you can start to add this up and then you go, well, actually it is a short because, and so you build this, this, this kind of two sides of the argument, if you like, as if you're in a courtroom. And then you say, okay, so where's the trade? So you might still come up with the same conclusion that it is a short, but then you'll say, okay, well, how do I structure the trade best? Well, actually, you know, I'm either going to look for a blow off top to go short or I'm going to wait for a kind of little failed high to come down or some sort of uh, one, two, three panel or whatever it may be. It doesn't necessarily matter. But the point is, is you haven't let your impulse be reinforced to a point where you have to take the trade so much. You've, you've accepted that you might have an impulsive um, feeling about where that market's headed, but you haven't reacted to that. You haven't then decided to compound and compound and compound because, guys, we've all been in that situation where we come in, run in and go, ah, that's definitely long or short. And then you yeah, reinforce the idea, reinforce the other, and you can't wait any longer. You have to take a trade. The trade's not structured cleanly. You end up maybe, you know, maybe the market goes higher and higher. Where's my stop? I don't know. And then you're caught in something you never planned to take. You're stuck in something. Maybe the size is too much. You've got no structure. It's like it's just a horrible place to be. You're like, I don't know what I didn't really want to take this trade. I thought, uh, and it's horrible. Versus looking at the chart and saying, okay, what's my process? You may have an impulsive feeling about it. That's not part of the process, right? The part of the process is to say, right, uh, is this part of the tr my trading plan? Does this match with what I'm trying to achieve in my trading? Is this going to bring up, you know, if I repeat this behavior, is this right? And your plan might well be to short overextended markets, but it's probably a certain set of criteria that allow you to do that, which is, hey, it's a mean reverting market, which this is, no, no, it's a rough sketch. This isn't, this is a trending environment. You've probably got some sort of key signal, some time of day stuff, some this, that, that, the daily chart, whatever it may be. And it might not tick those boxes and you say, actually, no, you know what? It's not a short and it's not even a long because I only take trends long that are on the first pullback or second. I don't take them after the third cycle, whatever that, what, I'm just making these stuff up. But that's the sort of thing you could do and then say to yourself, hey, I'm not going to take that. It's no trade. However, and then you come up with different, this is where, this is where the sweet spot is, guys, with trading, because you really come up then with different ideas. You say, actually, you know what? On the short side, if we did get an explosive top that failed and came right back lower, I'll set it there and have a little nibble and see if we can get a pull back to here. On the long side, if we pull back and find some support, dip under and back up, yeah, I'm going to go long there. So you start to build this idea. So you're using the volatility and the, the pattern to your advantage, but you're planning how you're going to attack this thing as opposed to letting your impulse get the better of you and just trading and just going, oh, and reinforcing that impulse and making all these, re oh, it's, got, it's, got, it's got to do it. It's got to go. 
lower because of XYZ. And you're making all these crazy reasons why, and to a point we can't take any money, have to go short, and of course it, it's just bad. It just doesn't work out in your favor. So think about that. If you see something, look at the arguments for long, arguments for short, okay, I want to align short, I want to align long under these conditions, how do I structure that? How do I manage the risk? How do I cap this? How do I do that? How do I do the other? And become much more calm and considered about how you take the trade, calm and considered about how you structure the trade, and that's far, far, far more effective than that your impulses get the better of you. Take care, see you in the next one, get your risk managed, bye-bye.